Hello everyone, welcome to Every Rock Has a Story. I was thinking the other day when I was recording one of my other stories, how exciting it is to find your own rock and to discover the story or just to wonder about the story of a rock that you collected yourself. As fun it is to buy a rock or to be given a rock or to be shown a rock on a screen. I think there's a lot of a lot of joy and a lot of curiosity in finding your own rock. Now, these are tricky times to get outside and collect our own rocks. Maybe some of you already have a rock collection. Maybe some of you don't. And I would love to say, oh, go outside and go to the park or go down the street or go for some, go someplace and find a rock and look at it. But that's not easy these days. And some people don't live in places where there are rocks just right outside. But the rock of the day is an interesting example of an earth material that's very important and has just as many stories as many of the other rocks. And it's something that I bet all of you can find nearby. The rock of the day with this story is this one. This one right here. It's black, speckling. Let me bring this a little bit closer. I'm going to show you this rock. Black, dark gray. You can see it's got a lot of little bits. See all those bits? Those are little bits of other rocks sort of mixed in. And what's interesting also about this one is when you turn it like that, it is flat, really flat on the top. You see that? kind of bumpy on the bottom, but flat on the top. Let's look at the top again. Get a good picture of that. Dark gray, all lots of little bits of other rocks in there, kind of mixed in with that black color. The story of this rock is very interesting to tell. Um, scientists give all kinds of fancy names to the different rocks that we find because we use those names to describe everything about it and it just sounds fancy and sciencey. So one way that we could describe this rock, and you don't have to write this down, a geologist might get look, look at this and say, ooh, that looks like a late Holocene, probably Anthropocene, biogenic, sedimentary, clastic, rock. That was a big complicated mumbo jumbo. Do you know another name for this? This is a chunk of the road from right outside my house. This rock made by people, but this earth material made by people is what the road is made of. If you want to know the name of this rock made by people, the road is made out of something called asphalt. And that's what this is. This is asphalt. Now, if you're laughing at home and saying, Ethan, the road isn't a rock. That's not natural. That's not a rock. What story does that have? Well, I'm here to tell you that the materials that humans make are just as important and exciting and interesting as the materials that come from other parts of nature. After all, we are part of nature too. Humans are part of this great planet that we share with the rest of nature. So asphalt is something that we have made, and if you remember my video about climate, just like the chalk rock was a rock that all those plankton and coccoliths living in the ocean made 60 million years ago, or maybe 80 or 100 million years ago. This one was made probably just a few decades ago when they built that road outside my house. Actually, probably more recent than that, starting to crumble apart now. And you know what else is cool about this? We can think about the human story that this tells. This tells a story of a kind of life, actual life humans, us. And we went and we dug up a whole bunch of tar. 
tar, sticky, oily tar. That's the black stuff. And then we created a big quarry. We dug deep into the earth and we ground it all up to make gravel. And then we mixed the tar and the gravel together to make this asphalt. All those little bits are other rocks of gravel mixed in with this tar. And then we laid it down. Humans, life, us, we made it flat like a pancake on top so that cars could drive on it. Imagine the story that this rock will tell, made by humans. Imagine the story this will tell hundreds or thousands or millions of years in the future when somebody or something else looks at it and says, I wonder what was the story of this rock? It's the story of us. It's a story of roads and cars and going to visit our friends and traveling all over. The other thing that this rock shows, if we get out our magnifying glass or our hand lens, every little one of those bits of gravel is its own rock and it has its own story. So I can look at those, yep, and I can say, oh, there's a rock that tells the story of water in the earth. There's a rock that tells a story of an ancient volcano. There's the rock that tells a story of a little fragment of a fossil rock. If you look inside a rock like this, every one of those rocks inside tells a story. So, if you are interested in finding a rock to call your own, and explore the story of that rock. Look outside, see what you can find. Maybe there is a rock somewhere in your yard or in the front along the street. But if not, you might find a little part where you can look at the road itself safely or driveway safely where there are no cars or sometimes a little crumbly bit Look at it carefully and ask yourself, what is the story of this rock made by humans in modern times? Our human materials are earth materials too. And that's why this asphalt makes for a great story for today. I hope you've enjoyed this story about this very interesting rock. I'll see you at my next video. Bye-bye.